Trick or treat, the Halloween pass update is here, everybody. And I'm going to be showcasing everything inside of it. Now, before we begin, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join, join the Discord in the description below. We always do giveaways. We haven't done one in a while, but we will be doing it soon. Now, right off the bat, you can see there's a new game mode versus zombies versus vampires. I don't know if this is new. I haven't played in a while, but this looks new. Zombies and vampires, you can choose two teams, and it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to choose a vampire team, and of course, you get the elimination daily, and you get all those stuff. Next, we have the duo tournament where you invite one of your friends to be your duo and you just like get the most skills and want, you can get like the newest weapons for free that's normally how the duo competition works yeah see you can get this scythe for free and then this weapon and then i think that's explosion and here we have the dual hakari set hakai blade oh i said hakari it's hakai i don't know what that means let me know in the comments below it doesn't look that great to be honest with you guys i don't oh, okay now this actually looks sick the duo version looks sick oh my god and then there's the pack and finally we have the haunted spins this includes the newest ability which is necromancer oh my god that sounds so broken let's take a closer look at what it says so if we just go down here and we look at the description unleash the power of the underworld storing up to two souls of those who perish and utilizing them as your own army so basically two souls you can get of players once they you know oof and you can utilize them against your enemies i wonder how that works we'll take a deeper look into that and we have the haunted pass of course you get the newest haunted pass this is like season 10 i'm pretty sure yep there's a bunch of things you guys can unlock on these haunted passes encrypted clone rising phantom ba -da -ba -ba, and all that now as a deeper look into the weapons as you can see i have the dual hakai set equipped right here and it actually looks so fire i love like the whip kind of thing and then the uh, long sword i don't know it seems like the handle is bigger than the sword but whoever made this cooked now you guys can buy this for like this much robust right here or you guys can go to the itemblocks.com which is the sponsor of this video itemblocks.com is a site where you can buy m2 and volleyball items for extremely good deals of course if you guys want volleyball all you guys gotta do is go on this go on blade ball and you can shop for weapon or gift currently they are not doing robux gifts unless you do a custom order right here so if you guys want robux gifted to you just do a custom order join the discord and create a ticket but if you guys want any other weapons inside of the game now let's say i want to get a limited weapon that i can't get other than trading i just go to quick add here get the sinister blade check out and of course i have two items here if i add the code robux i get an additional percentage off and i just go here get it and then put my email they'll email me the clean system and all i do is clean my order now before you guys do say they are a scam item blocks has a trust pilot which they have excellent score which is 4.7 and this one four star and the rest five star make sure to use code ropex when checking now if we just look right here there's like the emo that's how the dual emo looks and then we have this one which is a bit of a flight oh uh, yeah it is a flight and then the first section this is the emo and then we have the explosion Okay, the explosion is not bad. That's how the sword looks when you hit it with the duels. And how does the whip look? Okay, it has a nice effect to it. Trade request, no thank you. Let me know if you guys think this sword is actually worth getting in your opinion. I don't know in my opinion. And now we also actually have to look at one more thing, which is the skill called Necromancer. And I have gotten it finally. So let's just get into a game and see how it looks. That's zero of these and it apparently it needs to be down enemy. So I actually have to survive a bit. Oh, I thought I didn't get teleported. <gasps> that scared me. I'm like, no way I have to wait longer. Oh, oh, that dude's using that ability. That ability is actually broken. Go away. Not towards me, please. There. Okay. Oh, so I can get it from any downed enemy. So if I use it. <gasps> oh, so it gets them for six seconds and what? Oh, okay. I can keep spawning them again and again. And they last for like 8 seconds. Maybe if you upgrade them, they'll last for like 10 seconds. Okay. Oh, got another one. So you can keep on getting every enemy. You can just have two maximum out, I guess. Or two in your inventory. But you can keep on spawning them. There we go. Necromancer is actually kind of cool. Arise. Now let's see if spawning them would be the best. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Spawning them like right when you're about to get the ball. Or when, there's, when you're about to fill up on this third soul would be a good idea. If you guys want. But... It's up to you two on how you use it. Now, there is nothing else in this update other than what is showcased here. Maybe they will add more, but currently in the testing server, there is nothing else. Thank you all for watching till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Halloween. <laughs>